Need fast, cheap, reliable MUD coins? Go to MMOXP.com for the cheapest coins on the market. And use discount code MONEYSHOT for an additional 5% off your next order. Link in the description below. <laughs> Welcome back, YouTubers and Madden fans. This is Mad Money Shot. Sniff out the Mad Cheese has always got another uh, update video for you guys. I guess the December updates here. I got a feeling there might be more than one update. Maybe we might have another one here coming up pretty soon, but I have no real intel on that. This update just seems very specific. I kind of expect uh, more stuff to come out um, that's more geared towards the actual gameplay, where this is really just going to be a lot of stuff based off of Superstar X factors that they're adding to the game uh, and a lot of adjustments that they're making as far as players that have x factors are really changing i'll try to put a link in the description below if you guys want to check this out uh, but i'm just going to go over some of the key highlights here there's some really interesting ones uh some of the most interesting ones in my opinion are probably the ones that um, they don't say who is going to get these updates who's going to get these new abilities uh these new superstar uh, x factors and whatnot so it's probably going to be something coming out in mutt and i'm going to venture a guess along the way but for the most part uh this is really going to be mostly about the superstar abilities that they change as well i'll go over the gameplay updates first because there's a few of those um i can't say that i noticed anything i mean i know people that watch my channel the second gameplay here gameplay updates they want to immediately know if any of the stuff that they're using of mine uh got basically changed or attacked i can't say that i really noticed too much pretty much every patch that comes out i scan through the gameplay updates to see if there's anything that i'm personally using that got patched uh, but they don't always report it that's the other thing a lot of times like the mid high low that i put out several times this year constantly has been getting patched uh and i've had to adjust to make it work again over and over and over uh, to the point where you know they just don't necessarily say that they necessarily uh don't report that they're adjusting each individual play they kind of give you like a broad generalization but based off of what i'm seeing here nothing really seems to be attacking the plays that i've put out this year so we'll go over the gameplay updates first there's a couple of big ones when it comes to man coverage which i know a lot of people think that man coverage is kind of overpowered they did two things they did one thing to make man coverage a little bit uh less powered and then they also did something that it sounds like it's going to make man coverage even harder to beat uh, and i'll go over both of them right now now the first one is linebackers which already you know are slow enough when it comes to the game this year uh, i guess they basically are slowing linebackers down even more when in man coverage and basically when they're not facing the quarterback uh which is probably most of the time um they're going to react slower to cuts so basically if they're if you have a linebacker following a post route or something like that they're not facing the quarterback they're going to be even slower and easier to beat so that's good and all that's going to make it a little bit easier to beat man coverage uh which like i said a lot of people have issues with they think it's overpowered but at the same time not a lot of people really use linebackers anyway when it comes to man coverage a lot of people are like myself are pretty much using safeties and linebacker spots but then they went the opposite way with the next uh you know change which is basically uh they they tuned to improve deep zone defenders reacting to crossing routes so it says from single receiver side so i'm not really sure what they what that's referring to if, if it's a three receiver side that that means that they won't react i don't really know but either way so basically if you have a single receiver by himself and he's in a crossing pattern i guess the safety on that side of the field will play it better which sounds cool i mean i guess if you did it with three receivers like say you had three receivers on the right side and they were crossing and then the safety would react to that that would just basically open up to a bunch of one play touchdowns so i understand what they're trying to do here but ultimately, if you're, it's only going to work in single receiver side. How many players are really like that anyway? So basically, if you have a single receiver crossing the field on a crosser, uh, the deep safety will do a better job of covering that as long as it's a highly rated defender, which I don't know what that means. I mean, that could be any number of players, but there's, I don't know what the threshold is or the cutoff there is to be considered a highly rated defender. But apparently you'll get better reaction from deep zone defenders to take away crossers. That's the main idea, which, like I said, that's going to make man coverage even better now. All right, so now one of the fun stuff. We have uh, some new superstar abilities that are going to be added. Uh, number one, probably the most exciting looking one, and that's film study. Now, this looks like it serves two purposes. Uh, number one, it looks like it's going to be a pretty overpowered ability. Uh, but number two, it looks like it's going to be put into game kind of to monitor cheesers. I mean, it seems like um, they tried something last year where they tried to block out a play if you used it too much it was like a, a trial run i figure what they called it i haven't seen it this year but it was essentially a game mode that they were trying um that i guess never really took off but you can 
only call a play like three times a game or something. That's how, how it was. I don't really remember. It was kind of stupid. Now you can call plays as much as you want, but if you're playing against somebody that has film study on their defensive, you know, I don't know if it has to be on just, I guess just one player has film study. Uh, if you run a play five times in a quarter, your opponent will be able to see that play art when you come to the to the line of scrimmage. So basically, if you run a play five times in a quarter, by the fifth time, I'm guessing, maybe the sixth time, I'm not really sure, um, your, your opponent's going to be able to see your offensive formation, your offensive play art, just like Omaha is on offense for defense. Now, I don't know. I'm guessing it'll show the adjustments you make as well. It doesn't really say. Uh, it kind of leaves that part out. But if you come out in like a stock play, I would imagine that they're basically just going to see the play art as you're seeing it. So if you put somebody on a flat or a zig or a streak, whatever, your opponent's probably going to see all those adjustments. They're probably not just going to see the original play art. I would imagine they're not that EA is not that sophisticated. So basically, if you're a cheeser, you got to make sure you're watching out for people that have this. You got to make sure you're checking what abilities your opponent is using uh, before you run a play too much, or you're going to have to be more diversified with your play calling, which I think a lot of people are going to like. A lot of people are going to appreciate that because a lot of people think, uh, a lot of people complain that people run the same play too often. So I think that's a really cool addition. I definitely don't have a problem with that. Um, I, I I don't have a problem with people running the same play either. With if you want to be, you know, if you want me to tell you the truth about it, nothing really bothers me as far as that regard. But I can see where this is going to make a lot of people happy, a lot of casual players happy. Now it does reset every quarter. And come to think of it, I mean, a lot of mud games are like four minutes. The chances of you actually running a, a, a same play, you know, multiple times like that, I mean, in a drive, I don't know. I don't even think it'll come into, into effect that much. Uh, in a lot of different game modes. It also says that if you're playing in like a game with like 10 minute quarters or something like that, it's going to vary based off the quarter length, which I think is smart because obviously uh, more time in the quarter, there's more opportunity to, to run the same plays. Um, but I like that. That's definitely a cool one. The next couple really seem to be geared towards uh, fatigue, which is something that's kind of new since the last patch. I think they really came out with a lot of fatigue based stuff. Uh, and I think that's kind of dumb. I'm kind of getting tired of, the, of attacking fatigue as if that's uh, an attribute all of a sudden now the first one's called backlash which basically if you're say i'm sure a derrick henry's going to get this or something of that nature somebody like derrick henry would make the most sense uh these big bruising backs that can wear down an entire defense basically if a ball carrier has backlash if you try to tackle that ball carrier your defensive player is going to have a fatigue penalty now this can be a uh, you know, you can you can go around this. You just have to make sure that you put your uh, coaching adjustment tackling to conservative. Now, when you start a game, your coaching adjustment is typically on balanced, which means that once again, if you're not paying attention to these add to these superstar abilities of your opponent, you could have your entire defense fatigue based off the fact that the running back is running around with his backlash ability. So you really have to pay attention to what your opponent's using when it comes to these things. A lot of abilities you might not necessarily have to do that, but now you really have to be on point with a lot of these. You also have a counterbalance to that, which is recuperation. This is another one where apparently players with this ability will recover from the effects of fatigue. Wah, wah, wah. Who really cares? Like I said, why are they always attacking fatigue? Like it's something that, I mean, don't get me wrong. If you're, if you're running the ball a lot, it's going to be helpful to have a running back with like recuperation or something like that so you can keep your best running back in the game. But for the most part, I just feel like um, since winners are just like they can't come up with anything better to do with this than just making your then basically putting abilities around fatigue it sounds like they're out of ideas if every update now is basically attacking fatigue in one direction or another so two of the four that in my opinion i mean i'm sure they're going to have uh you know i'm sure they're going to be a decent addition but they're based off of fatigue which like who cares like like do, do something a little bit more exciting than that and then the last one is honorary lineman this is for like tight ends or maybe fullbacks that are really good blockers. I would think like George Kittle would probably have this. Uh, Non-offensive linemen with this ability will frequently win impact blocks when blocking defensive backs in the open field. So basically, if you throw this on, like I said, your fullback or your tight ends, you're going to be blowing open holes even better when it comes to DBs. Uh, so you're really going to have to match personnel. I mean, if you got opponent, once again, if they're coming out with this on their, on their, 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 uh, their tight ends, and you're coming out in like a nickel or a dime package, you're going to be getting laced uh, with huge blocks you're going to get be getting blown up your defense is not going to get the job done which is pretty cool because in my opinion this year you can stop the run a little bit too easily when it comes to um you know when it comes to running against uh safeties i mean it says defensive backs so it doesn't it doesn't say cornerbacks so if you're running four safeties and three cornerbacks and your opponent has this 
they're going to be blowing you off the ball, and they're going to be getting huge runs. So I like some of these additions, especially the first and the last one that I mentioned, honorary linemen and film study, because it's really going to combat some of the cheesier stuff in the game that a lot of people have issues with. Like I said, it's not something that I have an issue with. I'm just kind of reporting it, but I can definitely see the value. After that, there's just a lot of additions to X-Factor players. Uh, new X-Factors, these are all in regs. Um, I guess Alvin Kamora got his X-Factors back. I didn't even know that he lost them. He's got Jukebox and Satellite back. I mean, I'm pretty sure he had that in the past. Kind of dumb. He's, he, I know he didn't have a great year last year, but he definitely should have had that for, you know, he's a great player. He never should have lost his. Uh, Levante David's got Run Stuffer and Deflator. And DeForest Buckner now has Unstoppable Force, X-Factor, and Inside Stuff. Uh, and then there's a ton of new superstar players. DK Metcalf, I mean, obviously, like, how, how did he not have it? He's been a, one of the biggest stars in the league right now. Uh, but he's got deep out elite red zone threat. Terry McLaurin, scary Terry. He's got deep in elite and outside apprentice. Aaron Jones has got backfield mismatch and recuperation. Even though Aaron Jones isn't necessarily having the best year statistically, but um, that's definitely a good addition. He's another guy who definitely should have some things. And then Calvin Ridley, mid out elite. Outside apprentice, Darren Waller, tight end apprentice, which, you know, that's surprising he didn't have that already, and short out elite. Jameson Crowder's got mid in elite, Brian Burns, speedster and strip specialist. Miles Jack outmatched and deflator, Jesse Bates, deep in KO. Now, there's a lot of players that lost their X Factor abilities. I'm just going to go over them real quick. I'm not going to go over the abilities they lost. Drew Brees, Kalias Campbell, Demarcus Lawrence, Rob Gronkowski, Zach Ertz, T.Y. Hilton, who had a really good game Sunday, Justin Simmons, Matt Ryan, Julian Edelman, Carson Wentz, Ryan Kerrigan, and Cortland Sutton all lost uh, either X-Factors or Superstar abilities. So that's pretty much it. That's the video. I mean, I just really wanted to go over the new abilities added are really cool. And obviously, the uh, the gameplay updates are really important as well uh, with man coverage, in my opinion, being a little bit stronger now. Uh, but if you guys want to see more update videos like this, do me a favor. Let me know in the comments section. Hit the like button. I'll make sure to do more of these as they come available. Other than that, thanks for watching, man. Much shit out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my bids and more. Link in the description below.